Hey everyone and welcome to the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. And you're in the place where you can develop your ninja skills with all of your favourite creative cloud, desktop and mobile design apps. In this movie, we're going to take a second look at something that is actually one of my most popular videos on YouTube on creating roads in simplified maps. But I've held this technique back just for people who have subscribed to my lynda.com and LinkedIn learning courses until now. But you're going to get it. You can join Tony's Magic Circle. The difference here is that the technique I've shown previously only works with roads of a single thickness. And lots of people ask me about that. What if I've got roads that are wider than others and some of them are narrower than others and some of them have different terminals such as round end terminals like these here. Well, now I'm going to show you how it's done. So I'm going to go to the layers here and if I turn off the visibility for the other elements in this map, you can see I've got all of my roads here on one single layer. And I'm going to click this, the layer target just there. Some people call that the meatball. And it targets the layer, so I'm then going to go to my appearance panel. You'll find that in the window menu if you can't see it immediately. And you'll see that it mentions the layer just there. So we're going to go up to the effect menu and we'll come down to the path option just here. And what we're going to choose is this outline stroke option, which lots of people do pick, thinking that's going to do exactly what they want it to do, only to find that it doesn't. Well, it doesn't on its own. You've got to do something else to help it. So what I'm going to do then is add a new stroke. Now, there's a shortcut for this. It's Option Command Slash on a Mac. That would be Alt Control Slash on Windows. Or you could come down here and click it at the bottom of the Appearance panel. I'll then dial this up to about what I want it to be. So maybe about six points is just fine for this. Actually, just to make it a bit easier for you to see. I'll make it 10 and I'm just going to change the color there so it's not quite as strong as black would be just there. Then I'm going to drag that stroke down beneath the contents, right? So that means draw that stroke underneath the layer's contents. And at the moment, you can't see anything just there because it's being hidden by the contents. Now target that. So target the stroke in the appearance panel. See, it highlights like so. Okay, then go up to the effect menu. Okay, come down to the path options again, and this time choose offset path. Now, trust me on this, all you need to do is enter a value of zero and hit OK. And you might be thinking, well, that still hasn't worked, but it's just missing one component and you already have it. What you need to do is drag this outline stroke up here between the stroke OK, and the offset path and suddenly, hey, presto, you've got a whole stroke around all of your roads, irrespective of their thickness. And the benefit here is if you suddenly find at a later point you have to add a new road, then you just add a new road. And there you go. It really is just like magic. So welcome to not Tony's magic circle, but the ninja magic circle. Now how you know how to do that. There's loads of things you can do. And if you needed to modify it, then of course, all you would need to do is draw the new contents and they immediately take on that appearance on the layer. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, spread the word, all of that good stuff. And let me know in the comments if you really like this technique. And until next time, see ya.